Welcome to another video of geometric dimensioning and tolerances. In this video, we will learn about orientation controls. In our previous video, we have learned about profile of a line and profile of a surface. In case you have missed that video, I will provide the link of that video in the description. In fact, I have uploaded a playlist on GDNT. So if you want to watch that playlist or if you want to go through that playlist, I will provide the link of the playlist in the description as well. Now let's begin with this video. In this video, we're going to learn orientation controls in GDNT. In orientation, we have three types of controls. Perpendicularity, angularity, and parallelism. These controls are given along with their symbols. Now let's discuss them one by one. So our first orientation control is perpendicularity. This is a symbol for the perpendicularity. We measure the flatness of a part at 90 degree with respect to a reference that we call as a datum. If you can see this figure, this image right here, this right here is a datum. We call it as A. And we're going to measure the flatness of this surface. This is at 90 degree. We're going to measure the flatness of this surface with respect to this datum. And this right here is a feature control frame. We will talk about it, but first look at this. This right here is a feature control frame. We use this to indicate things in the drawing. So this is the symbol for the perpendicularity. This right here is the symbol of diameter. And this is actual tolerance, 0.002. 0.002 is the tolerance and m this right here m is actually an indicator we call it as mmc or maximum material condition and in this box we used to write the datums the datums can be as many like a b or c but here we have only one datum so now let's talk about this feature control frame now we have a symbol of perpendicularity and we have we do not have any diameter symbol right here if you can see here we have a diameter symbol but here we do not have any diameter symbol instead we only have this tolerance value that is 0 0.01 and a datum a so this right here is a datum a we are we will measure the perpendicularity of this surface with respect to datum a and here we have applied the datum a to the bottom surface of this part there are two types of uh, perpendicularity, the surface perpendicularity and axis perpendicularity. We will see them in our next slide. MMC or LMC, yes, they are applicable to the perpendicularity. In some features, MMC or LLC are not applicable. If you don't know about MMC or LM, uh, LMC, uh, I will provide the link of a short video in the, the description so that you can have a good understanding of MMC and LMC as well. Here we have the surface perpendicularity and axis perpendicularity. If we see the surface perpendicularity in feature control frame, we have the symbol of uh, perpendicularity. We do not have any diameter symbol, but we have a diameter symbol in the axis perpendicularity. Then the tolerance value and then the datum A. So here we have the datum A and we will measure the perpendicularity of the surface with respect to this datum a in this axis perpendicularity it will make sure that this central axis this central axis is perfectly perpendicular to this datum a so perpendicularity is applicable to both on surface and on axis as well and this is how we can measure the perpendicularity of a surface this right here is a surface block this is our part and this is a plunger dial. We can connect it in a height gauge. We can move this plunger dial vertically up and down. And this plunger dial will tell us the deviation on this vertical surface of this work piece. So that's how we can measure the perpendicularity of a surface. Moving on to our second orientation control, that is parallelism. This is the symbol for the parallelism 
the parallelism ensures a surface is parallel with respect to another surface or a datum. MMC or LLC both are applicable for the parallelism. And yes, it has the same surface parallelism and axis parallelism similar to the perpendicularity. So if you can see in this image, here we have a datum A, this right here, that is attached to the bottom surface. And this is the feature control frame. So in this feature control frame, we have the parallelism symbol in this box. And here we have the tolerance value. 0.03 is the tolerance value for the parallelism. And in this box, we have a datum. This right here is a datum A. So this feature control frame tell us that this surface can have a parallelism tolerance of 0.03 with respect to this lower uh, surface on which we have attached this datum. And this is the way we can measure the parallelism uh, of a surface. This bottom is plate is actually a surface plate. Here we have our part. And on the upper surface, we can attach a plunger gauge onto a height gauge and we can move it on horizontally in order to measure the parallelism of this surface. Our third and final orientation control is angularity. This is the symbol of angularity and this right here is the feature control frame of the angularity. So in this block, we have the symbol of angularity here we have the symbol of diameter that is actually a feature of a part. This is the tolerance value of the angularity that is 0 0.01 and this actually a flatness value and this is measured in millimeters. This is not actually an angle. All right. So this is value of flatness. This right here M in a circle is a material condition. We call it as maximum material condition. In these two blocks, we have datums, datum A and datum B. So now let me tell you what the angularity really is. In angularity, we measure the flatness of a surface that is at an angle with respect to a reference or a datum. So it's a measurement of flatness, but at an angle. Both MMC or LMC can be applicable uh, in this angularity if you can see this image we have applied the datum a to the bottom surface right here and we are going to measure the flatness of uh, this surface with respect to this bottom surface and this right here is at 30 degree angle so in our feature control frame we have a symbol of angularity a tolerance value of 0 0.01 and a datum a so do not get confused here we are not going to measure any angle here on this surface we are going to measure the flatness of the surface with respect to this datum surface but definitely it will be at an angle other than 90 degree so that's how we measure the angularity and in our next slide let me show you how we actually measure the angularity this is the setup of measuring angularity we have a surface plate at the bottom we have a gauge block right here and this right here is the sign plate so we can adjust the angle by using this sign plate here we have adjusted it at 30 degree because the part angle was at 30 degree so the point is we need to get the surface horizontally or at zero degree. So whenever we're going to set this at 30 degree or equal to the part degree, this auto, this surface will automatically be at zero degree. So we can very easily measure the flatness of this surface by using this height gauge and the plunger block. We will move this, move this uh, dial gauge on the surface and we will get the value of flatness here so that's all for this video if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel see you in the next video